Welcome to the REACH self-esteem video. You can learn more about self-esteem in the Taking Care of You chapter in your REACH caregiver notebook. In this video, you will learn about self-esteem and ways to increase it. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem is the overall value we put on our own worth. It is the way we evaluate our abilities and qualities. High or positive self-esteem and low or negative self-esteem is fueled by our daily experiences from childhood on. Many caregivers struggle with self-esteem. When someone praises you as a caregiver, do you immediately push the compliment away? Even if we do not say so, we often believe that we are not doing a good job. We believe that we are not worthy of the praise that others give us. Other caregivers may seem to be much more assured and confident. Why is it hard to appreciate ourselves? These are characteristics of people with low self-esteem. Do you struggle with any of them? I tend to be self-critical and focus on mistakes I make or the one thing that is wrong with something I did or made. I find it difficult to think positive thoughts about myself, my appearance, and my character. I can easily tell you all my flaws. I tend to let opinions from others influence the way I feel about myself. Often, if people criticize me, I get upset about it. I try to please others as a way of gaining approval. If you do find yourself engaging in any of these patterns, you aren't alone. What is it people with high self-esteem have that others don't? People with high self-esteem have a balanced, realistic view of themselves. They have self-confidence and can celebrate their successes while still incorporating feedback from others. They also see the positive side of life and give the benefit of the doubt to others and themselves. People with high self-esteem look at mistakes as challenges or learning opportunities, and they recognize their own value. It is often very difficult to step back and evaluate our own behaviors. Something helpful you can do is stop, redirect, and build. Identify any negative self-talk concealed within your daily thought routine. Consider keeping a journal or a daily log of some of the negative self-talk and write down at least one positive comment for each negative one. It can be a good deed, something you like about your body, or a talent or skill of yours. Reflect on this list of positives every day. Notice the feeling that this thought brings you. A sense of pride, purpose, joy, happiness. Whenever you catch yourself in negative self-talk, stop. Think instead about one of your positive thoughts. Expand on these positive thoughts every day and create a web of positive thoughts to identify with. Remember, you have the power to stop, redirect, and build. So how can we take care of and build our self-esteem? Leave your childhood evaluations behind. Were you teased as a child or did you feel rejected in some way? You are an adult now, not that child. Your body, mind, and emotions have changed. Take responsibility for yourself. You have the power to take control and make changes in your own life. Even if there are circumstances that you cannot fix, you can change your perspective on the situation. Don't let others ruin your day or control your emotions. You can take care of this yourself. Work through your trouble areas. Everyone has areas that need improvement. If you think you don't, you're probably wrong. What are some ways you can improve as a person? Be less uptight? Be more forgiving? Offer to help people more? Be less critical or judgmental of others? We all have ways to improve. Learn from mistakes. When you mess up, figure out how and why and work to not make that same mistake again. This is called learning and growing and is part of life. 
Be self-confident. What are you good at? Focus on your abilities and things you know you do well. Be confident that your talents are important and valuable. Achieve goals. By setting, working toward, and achieving goals, you take care of yourself and build self-confidence. Setting goals is often difficult. There is a REACH video all about goal setting on our REACH VA Caregiver Center YouTube channel, or you can look in your REACH Caregiver Notebook in the Taking Care of You chapter.